kids! Welcome, Welcome to Sailor School! Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our Sabbath school today. I'm here at the park enjoying the wonderful things that God has made. And you know, I'm so happy today because I know that God is with me everywhere I go. All day, all night, He's watching over me and He's watching over you too. We're going to sing a song about that today. Would you like to join me? It goes like this. God is watching over me, watching over you, watching over me. God is watching over you, watching over me each day. Let's do that again. God is watching over me, watching over you, watching over me. God is watching over you, watching over me each day. I heard from some of my special Sabbath school friends this week. <laughs> they had so much fun with our forest trip. We went into the forest and went camping. Do you remember that? Well, they sent me some pictures. Here they are coloring their sunshines, getting ready for Sabbath school. Doesn't that look like fun? Then they put their tent up in their living room and got their little stuffed animal forest creatures and they're all set, ready for Sabbath school, ready to praise and worship Jesus. They even sent me a video of them doing the sunshine song. Do you remember how we did it? Maybe you have your sunshines and you could do it with us. Remember how the sun went down, 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 sinking down until the day was done and we popped it behind our backs. You want to try it with them? Down, down, down goes the sinking sun. Down, down, down till the day is done. done. <laughs> that was fun. Let's try that again. Ready? Sunshine high in the air. It's the middle of the day. Down, down, down goes the sinking sun. Down, down, down till the day is done. That was such a fun song, boys and girls. I'm glad we got to do that again. You know, I am so glad that you get to join us each week here for Sabbath School. It's fun to be together and learn about Jesus and sing about His love. Today I want to talk about God and His blessings. He loves us so much and He gives us many things for us to enjoy each day. But do you know what? Jesus doesn't force us to love Him back. He loves us so much, but He lets us choose whether we want to love Him or not. Every morning when we wake up, we get to make that choice. Do we want Jesus to be with us that day? Yeah, I do too. Well, one way to ask Jesus to be with you is to pray. Pray when you wake in the morning. Pray at the table when you eat. Pray before you go to sleep. You can pray at everything that you do. Let's sing that song together, okay? Pray when you wake in the morning. Pray at the table too. Pray before closing your eyes in sleep. Pray in all that you do. Pray when you wake in the morning, pray at the table too, pray before closing your eyes in sleep, pray in all that you do. All day long, Jesus gives us many blessings to enjoy. Have you enjoyed some good food today? Yeah. Yes. What is your favorite food that God has given us? Hmm. Waffles? Waffles? Oh, I love waffles too. They're pretty good. What about you? What's your favorite food? Cucumbers. Cucumbers. Ooh, those are yummy. Well, you know, God has given us many things to enjoy. I have a little game that we're going to play now. I have some blindfolds. I'm going to put a blindfold on each of you guys, and I'm going to give you some food. And I want you to see if you can use your taste buds that God has given you to figure out what the food is. If you taste it very carefully, some food tastes sweet, some food tastes sour, some food may be salty, some food is crunchy and some is smooth. 
Let's see if you can guess what kinds of foods I have. Maybe at home your mommy or daddy have some special foods you could try. Or if you can't do it right now, maybe you could do it later. Let's see, I'm gonna start with my big boy over here. Can you guys see this? That's what I'm gonna give him, okay? Let's see if he can guess what it is. Open up. Let's see, what does it taste like? I think it's crunchy. It's crunchy. Mm, seedy. Seedy, he can taste seeds in there. What do you think it is? Cucumber! Oh, is he right? Yes, he is. It's a cucumber. Was it good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I've got another vegetable in here. Let's see if this little boy can guess. Hmm, do you guys know what this is? <laughs> I've got a little piece to put in his mouth and try. Here we go. Hmm, what does that taste like? Crunchy. It's crunchy. Is it? What else is it? Yummy. It's yummy. Let's see what else. Is it sweet? Yes. A little bit. Is it sour? No. No. Hmm. What do you think it is? Um, uh, carrot? You think it's a carrot? Let's peek and see. Is it a carrot? Yeah. Yes, it's a carrot. Do you like carrots? Yeah, I've got another one for my big boy over here. Mm, let's see if he can guess what this one is. I cut it up into a tiny little piece. Mm, while he's tasting that, you guys look at this. Do you guys know what this is? All right, what does it taste like? Mm. It tastes sweet. Sweet. Anything else? Fruitish. Fruity? Okay. Is it really dry or is it really wet? What? It's wet. It's very juicy. What is it? A cherry! You think it's a cherry? Open up and see. Is it a cherry? Yes, it is. All right, we have one more for you. Let's see if you can guess this one. I've cut it up into very small pieces. Just the right size to pop in your mouth. Mmm. You guys know what that is? <laughs> Alright, what does it taste like? Um. Spicy. Spicy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, what else? Spicy. Is it? Is it soft and mushy, or is it crunchy, or is it? Crunchy. It's a little crunchy, okay. And a little soft. A little soft mm -hmm. and a little crunchy, okay. So not too crunchy. Um, is it a little sweet? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think it is? Uh, um, uh, an apple! An apple! Let's peek and see. Am I, are you right? Yeah. Yes! Now, I have a song that we're going to sing together, and it talks about these yummy foods that God has given us. And it says, this world is full of yummy food. God made it so. Can you help me sing my song? This world is full of yummy food. Yummy food, yummy food. This world is full of yummy food. God made it so. You know, God has given us so many blessings to enjoy each day. Food is a real blessing that God has given us, isn't it? It's pretty yummy. <laughs> um, another blessing that God has given me, he's given me two little boys to take care of. I love them so much. I make sure that they have food every day. I help them learn new things. I make sure they have the things they need. And that's been a blessing for me to take care of them. You know, you can be a blessing to other people, too. Did you know that you can be a blessing to Mommy? Yeah. How could you be a blessing to Mommy? Helping. By helping. 
Yes, when you are a helper, you can bless the people that you help. Hmm, we just had a taste test and we made quite the mess. Can you think of a way that you could be a blessing to mommy right now? Clean up! By cleaning up, that's right. I'm gonna sing a song while you help me clean up, okay? And we'll put all the things in our bag right here. I like to help my mother, oh yes I really do. For when I help my mother, then I help Jesus too. I like to help my mother, oh yes I really do. For when I help my mother, can I help you? Then I help Jesus too. I like to help my mother, oh yes I really do. For when I help my mother, then I help Jesus too. Thank you boys for being such great helpers. You really are a blessing to me. I am so glad that God gives us so many blessings every day. You know, one of the blessings that he gives us is the ability to do many different things. Can you clap your hands? Can you stomp your feet? Yeah, we can do so many things. That reminds me of a song that we sing in Sabbath school. It goes like this. Jesus made my hands so they can clap for joy. Jesus made my arms so they can hold a toy. Jesus made my feet so they can walk like this. Isn't he a wonderful Jesus? And Jesus made my head to turn from side to side. Jesus made my arms so they can reach so wide. Jesus made my hands so they can roll like this. Isn't he a wonderful Jesus? Being able to play is one of God's very special blessings. My boys really love to play ball with Daddy. What can you do with the ball? You could throw it with your strong arms that Jesus made for you. You could kick it with your strong legs that Jesus made for you. There are lots of ways to play. Maybe you could take a bat and try to hit the ball. You use your eyes and watch it come and pow, that ball goes high in the air. Well, it's really fun to play and I'm glad that Jesus gave us a body that's strong and able to play. What a blessing. There are many things God helps me do. Doodle doodle doo doo doo. -do -do. I can throw a ball with arms so strong. Doodle doodle doo doo doo. There are many things God helps me do. Doodle doodle doo doo doo. I can kick a ball with legs so strong. Doodle doodle doo doo doo. There are many things God helps me do. Doodle doodle doo doo doo. I can swing a bat with arms so strong. Doodle doodle doo doo doo. It's so fun to run and play and use those muscles that God has given us. What a blessing to have play. You know, it was fun to play with Daddy. Now, how can we be a blessing to Daddy? Can you think of something that would bless Daddy? Help him clean up! Oh yes, when you're done playing, you have to put your toys away. That's a big blessing to Daddy, isn't it? All right. Let's put all our toys away when we stop our play. Away, away, let's put them away. Let's put all our toys away. Let's put all our toys away when we stop our play. Away, away, let's put them away. Let's put all our toys away. I'm glad that God created us to be able to do so many special things. Well, you know, another special thing that God um, helps us do is to, to love. We can feel love for other people, and you know, God loves us very much too. And He wants us to share His love with the people around us. Can you think of someone special that you really love? Maybe Grandma and Grandpa? Maybe Mommy and Daddy? It's nice to do special things for the people that we love, isn't it? Oh, we love brothers and sisters too. That's a good one. Can you think of something special that you could do for someone that you love? Send them a picture. 
send them a picture? Oh, that's a really good one. Um, that's a great idea. And when they receive it in the mail, they will remember you and how much you love them. So let's sing a song about that. I'll make a picture I can share, I can share, I can share. I'll make a picture I can share to tell them of my love. All right, can you think of any other people that you love that you could do something special, something to share God's love with them? Who could you show God's love to? Mimi. To Mimi. Oh, that's Mimi is another name for Grandma. How could you show your love to Mimi? By calling her. Oh, Mimi would love to hear from you. Grandmas miss their grandkids when they can't see them. And it's nice to call and say, hi, I love you. Would you like to call? Do you know the number? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, you go ahead and call. I'll call my grandma on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I'll call my grandma on the phone to tell her I love her. Bye. One big blessing that God gives us is his holy Bible. In his Bible, we learn that God loves us, that God cares for us. Do you have a favorite Bible story? Yeah? Well, I really like the story of Noah and the ark. God loved Noah and took care of him. I like the story of Jesus and the storm. He loved his disciples and he kept them safe. I like the story of baby Jesus who came to our world because he loved us so much. Well, our story today comes from the Bible too and it's about Daniel and some very hungry lions. But God loved Daniel and took care of him. Let's sing our song about the Bible. I open my Bible book and read, He loves me, He loves me. I open my Bible book and read, He loves me, He loves me. Today we're going to take a closer look at the story of Daniel. Our story is called Daniel in the Lion's Den. Dear Jesus, we thank you for our Bible stories, the stories about brave people who followed you. We want to be learned. To, we want to learn to be brave for you. Amen. Well, in the last couple weeks, we've been learning about Daniel. In the story of Daniel, there's a new king, and the new king liked Daniel very much. He knew he could trust Daniel. So you know what he did? He put Daniel in charge of all the other leaders for the kingdom. Daniel was the king's number one helper. He had a very important position. The king knew that Daniel was trustworthy. Daniel would do his best. But you know what? That made the other leaders jealous. They were so jealous that they wanted to find a way to get rid of Daniel. <laughs> they thought, what are we going to do? Let's watch Daniel. Maybe he'll do something wrong and we can just get him in trouble. But when they watched Daniel, he didn't lie, he didn't cheat, he didn't steal, he did his work well. They couldn't find anything. They thought, hmm, the only thing we notice is that he really loves the God in heaven. Every day, morning, noon, and night, he opens his window and he prays to the God of heaven. If we could find some way to get him in trouble for doing that, hmm, they thought and they thought, and they came up with a very bad scheme. They thought, oh, I know what we can do. We can trick the king. We can have the king make a law. And they said, oh, king, we want you to make a law. We want you, we want to honor you. They didn't really want to honor him. They wanted to trick Daniel. They said, oh, king, we want to honor you. We want to make a new law. And the law is that everyone in the whole kingdom should pray to only you for 30 days. And there will be a punishment. If people don't obey, they will be thrown into the lion's den. They thought, oh, this is a good plan. It will work. That's exactly what they told the king. And guess what? The king liked the idea. Uh-oh. So they made the new law and they told all the people what the law was. 
Daniel heard the new law too. Do you think Daniel obeyed the law? Or do you think Daniel stayed true to the God in heaven? Daniel stayed true to God and he did not change his daily routine. His daily routine was to open his window and pray in the morning. And open his window and pray at noon. And open his window and pray to God at night. Daniel did that just like he did before. And those wicked leaders, they were watching Daniel. They wanted to get rid of him. And so they saw that Daniel prayed to the God of heaven just like before. So of course they ran and told the king, 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 guess what? We saw Daniel. He opened his window and he prayed to the God in heaven. He did not worship you, O king. He must be thrown into the lion's den. The king thought, oh no, I forgot about Daniel. Oh no, what will I do? But there was a law in that country. Once a rule was made, the king could not change the law. So the king had to let Daniel be thrown into the lion's den, just like the law had said. The king was very sad, sad for his friend Daniel. That night, when the king went to bed, he couldn't sleep. He sat up all night long, thinking and worrying about his friend Daniel. In the morning, he went out to the lion's den. They rolled the stone away, and the king called down, Daniel, Daniel, are you okay? And you know what? Daniel had spent the night in the lion's den. Those lions were very hungry, but Daniel worship the God in heaven. Do you think Daniel was okay? Do you think Daniel uh, was safe? He was. The God in heaven had protected him. The God in heaven had kept him safe. And he said, yes, king, I am okay. My God sent angels. And he shut the lion's mouths. The lions did not hurt me. You know, the king was so happy. He got Daniel out of that lion's den right away. <laughs> God had saved Daniel. God had protected him. Daniel had always been faithful to God, and God had been faithful to him in return. Let's bow our heads for prayer one more time. Dear Jesus, we like the stories of the brave Daniel. Help us to learn to trust you like Daniel did. We know that you love us, and we love you too. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, we have a memory verse that goes with our story today. It's found in our Bibles, and it says, God sent his angels and shut the lion's mouths. Can you say that with me? God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouths. Good job. All right, let's try it one more time. God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouth. Daniel 6 verse 22. Today we have talked about the many blessings that God has given us and we have even talked about ways to be a blessing to other people. I want to challenge you this this week or maybe even this afternoon today to think of a way to show God's love to people around you. Mommy, daddy, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, your friends, Whoever you can think of, find something special to do for them and bless them just like Jesus blesses you. Hey kids, hope you enjoyed Sabbath School. Have a happy Sabbath. Bye. Goodbye.